Hola and welcome or welcome back to Kim at Home. I'm starting this video off with me cooking because y'all know I love to eat. <laughs> so I'm going to roast these potatoes. I'm going to make Parmesan roasted potatoes. What I have found is if you cut the potatoes and put like little divots in between them, the seasoning just like perspires within and it just makes it so much better. Here is what I'm using to season the potatoes. For my meat, I'm making French onion chicken. If you have never had French onion chicken, let me tell you something, you are totally, completely, and utterly missing out on some wholesomeness. Wish I had smell vision. Ooh, they look so pretty too. This is the type of chicken broth that I prefer. It is amazing. Just put a little bit in here and then you're gonna cover it up and allow it to cook the rest of the way. I always have that one lid that I use to cover everything. Yeah, I'm not classy with matching pots and pans and stuff like that. <laughs> Now for my vegetable, I'm gonna make some salad. It's like the ready-made salad, greens or what have you. I'm gonna add some cucumber. Adding some sunflower seeds as well as some raisins. So that is all I'm adding to my salad because I'm starving. I'm kind of hangry and I'm about to eat this right now while the food cooks. I really, really want some biscuits, but I just realized I only have one cup of flour. So I think I'm gonna make something out of pancake mix. I know that sounds crazy, but let's see what we can do. Three cups of the Hungry Jack. This recipe does not call for any kind of sugar, but I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar to it. You'll want a quarter cup of softened butter, and that is half stick of butter. So I added a little bit of vanilla into this water. It is like a quarter cup of water with a cap full of vanilla, and then you're gonna add one egg. Don't forget to take the snot out of the egg. Just because I didn't have the proper ingredients in the house did not limit me from being creative. I'm using Hungry Jack to make these biscuits. Y'all, they were the bomb. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Kim, K-Y-M. I love to create content pertaining to home life. I really love to cook and the best part of cooking is the aftermath of eating. <laughs> if you are interested in, in like home life type of content, please do not forget to hit subscribe before you leave and also show the like button some love as well. Here is what my plate is looking like. This is my second plate because I was too impatient to show you the first one. I was just trying to get my eat on, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is the second day. I just left Lowe's and I had planted some flowers probably a month ago, probably longer than that. Anyway, I forgot to water them so they died and then the landscapers laid down mulch. So I'm just planting a few new plants. The time has come. This color right here is called Cadet Blue, but I'm over it. <laughs> so I'm gonna paint it. I couldn't figure out if I wanted to use furniture paint or not in order to paint these cabinets. So I am priming them first. And that is what this is. It's just an ultra white primer, nothing special. But for the record, if you are using furniture paint, you do not have to sand or prime prior to that. Furniture paint is actually amazing. And I really, really do like working with it. So I took my doors off. Look underneath that cabinet. It looks great. <laughs> Everything behind closed doors is a mess. 
It's always a good idea to clean your space prior to working, so I need to get this straightened up. I should have done it, you know, a while ago, but hey, sometimes you do things out of order. It, it'd be like that sometimes. I was reflecting on life and the last time that I actually painted these cabinets, and it was when my aunt was here visiting from Michigan. Um, she passed away, it'll be a year ago in August, and when I tell you she was my favorite, like I love everything about her, I miss her tremendously. But yeah, I just wanted to share my thoughts that I was thinking with you guys. I always make it a point to tell people how I feel about them while they are here on this earth, and I hope you are doing the same. How are you guys doing? What are you up to? What are you reading? I have not picked up a new book lately, but I do plan on it for sure. Um, however, I have some other things that are in the works and I'm excited about it and I cannot wait to share it with you when I'm able to. But as far as TV shows, I'm finishing this show that was on the Hallmark Channel called Chesapeake Shores and it's like, you know, real corny and bubbly like rom-com. And right now I feel like I need some rom-com in my life. So <laughs> we're going to go with that. I typically like true crime. Hey, sign on. <laughs> okay, so leave a comment down below. Let me know what color you think I'm gonna get this painted. I have a color in mind. I have not bought it yet. So let me know what you think. It's probably not gonna be something that any of you suspect if you've been here for a while because it's completely something different for me. Have you ever seen Blue's Clues where he goes, mail time, mail time? This, my dear friends, is an Eve window cleaner. And I'm so glad that I have a window cleaner now because you guys know that I do cleaning jobs and, and that sort of thing. So it'll be easy for me to clean the windows because you gotta pay extra for windows, for cleaners. It would help if I open the box correctly. So this has so many different contraptions. Here is the actual, ooh, it's already charged, okay. But anyway, <laughs> this is really nice. It's Steeler colors. It also comes with pads that you can wipe down with. It's packaged very nicely. It comes with a spray bottle as well. Okay, okay. So let's see how we put this thing together. I love a roller coaster. You mess it with my head. I'm ending up so clueless. What are you trying to find? Here's your storage tank. It's really easy to just pull it and push it down. Really easy to remove. This was really easy to put on as well. When you wanna put it on and off, you just squeeze. There's a spot that you can squeeze. So I did plug this in just because I know it's charged, but probably not to the ability that I need it to be charged um, for because obviously I have a lot of windows that need to be cleaned. But let me show you all of the pieces that I have for, for my contraption. Here's this spray bottle, okay? So obviously you put whatever it is that you need to put in here. And then with this, here is a piece that you have. So what you do is you hook up your microfiber cloth to that. Let me show you, it's really simple. You just stick it through there and through here. And there's also a Velcro, a Velcro pad on here. That way, you know, nothing slips or anything like that. So there's your Velcro padding right there. So you just make sure everything uh -oh, is on nice and snug, nice and fit. That's what it looks like. This actually hooks up to your water bottle. So let me show you, here's the water bottle. Just going to screw that back on. So this part right here is, you know, like the sprayer part. So you just kind of put it right there on top and it snaps on. You heard that snap. And then you just spray and wipe. Oh, girl, you just spray. You know what? I'll be having those days where I just don't feel like doing a lot. So this is going to come in handy. This is a genius idea. Like who thought of this? Yeah, thanks Eve. Anyway, I have an extra uh, microfiber cloth. Here's the squeegee. This is the vacuum as well. And then this is really easy to hook up just like that. So I'm, you know, doing all of the, all of the above, 
all the motions. I'm gonna get me a rhythm going and I'm gonna be the bomb. And this is gonna be amazing, like seriously though, for real. This, anything that makes your life easier when you clean <laughs> is a great concept. As I previously stated, I do wanna clean all of the windows in the house. However, I'm just gonna show you some of the ones on the second floor since I'm already up here. bedroom is right above the garage so we have an air conditioning unit in here so this window is really 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 dirty let's see how this machine works for it either yes or it's no i'm not a yo-yo on a string that you flip and twist and swing i'm not gonna lie tonight you don't get everything you like because i'm not ready I use this in two different ways. The first thing that I did was I sprayed it with the spray contraption and then I wiped it. Then I sucked up any of the extra residue. But here in the next few clips, what I'm gonna do is just spray that and then I'm just gonna suck it up without actually wiping it first. And let me tell you something, it works so good. I was very impressed. I know that windows isn't something that people clean often, but when you have things that make it so easy for you to clean, I feel like you would want to do it more often. So your girl gonna be cleaning her windows, okay? And I'm also going to clean the car windows and give it to my daughter to clean her car windows because really it does work very well. And here's what the water looked like. The windows were pretty dirty. Definitely be sure to clean out your contraptions, even the contraption that actually has your cleaning solution in it. So I would say just don't put a lot in there because you don't want just water or whatever it is that you're using to just be setting in something because it will not smell good after a while. But I'll leave the information below in the description box in case you are interested in purchasing the window cleaner. Now on to some fun. I always like to see personal parts of people's lives. So I'm showing you guys a personal peek into my life. We are currently at a wedding and I have known the mother of the bride since I was nine or 10 years old. And let me tell you, when the bride walked out, I bawled my eyes out because I remember when you were in Pampers, girl. Anyway, the wedding was amazing. The wedding was beautiful. And I am so thankful that you guys have stuck around this long. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate you. If you have not already subscribed, please do so before leaving out as well as hitting that like button. Thank you again for being here. Cause I'm not ready If I'm not ready